For this neck gear business break, we're gonna be talking about the Ready NAS 4360. This is a rack mount Ready NAS. This is, this is a behemoth of a Ready NAS. All right, you'll see, you'll see why. We're all excited about this. It's a new product. I got my friend Kyle, who's an engineer that's been working on this project, to help me explain to you guys in this video about it. So check it out. All right, we're here with Kyle, my coworker. He's gonna help us understand this unit a bit better. Kyle, take it away. Thanks, Willie. Uh, Kyle from Storage um, Engineering Group. The uh, 4360 is a, a 60 bay unit. Um, all drives are loaded from the top, so there's no drives in the front. We have a power um, button as well as a reset button and a USB port in the front for encrypted volumes. So with that in mind, we'll go ahead and go into the, uh, the drives. So all drives start from one all the way down to 60. And the, uh, the drive tray that we have here is a, a screwless design. So you'll be able to pop in the, um, all 60 drives in a little bit easier. We have a screw mount uh, to better secure the, uh, the drive into the drive tray. Nice. And what, what is the RAID configuration like? Uh, so the r default RAID configuration is a RAID 60. Uh, so we'll have four RAID groups, um, each a RAID 6. And each RAID 6 will have two disks of redundancy. Um, so on the default configuration on this, um, you'll have um, eight uh, disks um, allocated for redundancy. Awesome. Um, you will be able to uh, configure so you can have a different rate configuration if you wish. Cool. Nice. So how do you fit it in the rack? To, so to get it in the rack, uh, one thing I would like to note is that it's large. <laughs> Pretty big. So it's, it's a little bit longer than, than most uh, rack units. Um, most of it's going to be allocated to the 60 drives. Um, and it's, since it is a little bit larger, it would be recommended to have two uh, people to uh, put this, um, this unit into the rack. Um, so a lot of the weight is in the, in the drives, so it's recommended also to make sure that you don't have drives loaded into the unit nice. when racking it. Good point. All right. So with that, um, we have the back part here for the motherboard, and we'll go into what the motherboard is loaded up with. So we have four uh, one gigabit Ethernet um, interfaces. We have two uh, USB 3.0 and eSATA interfaces. We have three um, SAS um, expansion interfaces. So if you need to expand with uh, your volume with the EDA 4000 or 2000, um, you would be able to have um, three interfaces to uh, expand with. We have two uh, power supplies loaded in the box um, for the required amount of power to power up all 60 drives. Um, for any redundancy, it's recommended to have uh, three or four power supplies, depending on the number of uh, redundant power supplies you'd like. All right, Kyle, I think, uh, I think we should show the people th this unit in its natural environment. Okay, yeah, let's take a look in our lab. Great. Hey, excuse the noise, it's uh, loud. <laughs> <laughs> Wanted to bring you to our lab. Uh, welcome to our lab. We have the uh, 60 bay unit here, fully loaded. Wanted to show you a fully loaded unit with uh, 60 drives. So this unit's fully loaded with uh, the 60 drives in a RAID 60 configuration. Uh, he's been running for uh, a few months now. Uh, one thing to uh, keep in mind was the, uh, the airflow uh, for the fans to keep the drives cool is to uh, best keep the, uh, the cover on to help uh, airflow. And... Awesome. Yep. All right, Kyle, so what, what separates this from, from other, other devices, and why would a company need this unit? Uh, so the, uh, the 60 bay is uh, 60 drives and 4U, so that's a smaller amount of uh, rack space that you would need to take up um, and still keep uh, 60 drives. Uh, one, uh, one of the great things about having a large capacity in that small amount is that if you have existing storage, and you want to centralize it, uh, this is a great unit to centralize for uh, file servers, uh, for large capacity uh, file servers, um, as well as um, having a backup uh, target. So if you have multiple boxes that you just want a backup for, uh, this is a great high uh, capacity, high density uh, box. Awesome, Carl. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Willie. 
Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you learned something. All right. Have a nice, restful, and productive weekend. You know the drill, guys. Like, comment, tell me what's going on. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, because I'll be here next week.